Do you remember a video about encoded motors and Arduino? I told you in this video that I want to develop my own driver for this kind of motor so that it's easy to add them to any of your Arduino based projects and here it is. I mean this is just a PCB, we need to solder all of the components in place, then write the code and test if it works. Hopefully this thing will make it super easy to add encoded motors to any of your Arduino based project. Really nice thing about this PCB is that it's not only black, the solder mask on this PCB is matte black. I probably test all of the possible colors of the PCBs like yellow, green, blue, red, white and now black and this one is my favorite so far. Thanks JLC PCB for offering this kind of color and thanks for sponsoring this video. For this project we need quite a lot of components, the number is not huge but there is a lot of really small SMD components that we need to solder, a lot of capacitors, I faced some problems with voltage filtration in my previous projects, so there is a lot, a lot of capacitors in this project. We have right here two SMD LEDs, few resistors, Atmega 328, SMD crystal, few screw terminals for motors, encoder and voltage input, motor driver, two voltage regulators for 3.3 and 5 volts, and colorful headers. There's really no point in using the colorful headers for this PCB, it will just make it a little bit more colorful and it will be easier to connect everything to proper pins. There will be a list of all of the components that we need for this project in the description and if you want to buy one of these PCBs you can check out the link to my Tindy store. When you are soldering both SMD and THT components on a single PCB you should always start with SMD components because those are way harder to solder. You need more space for the soldering iron, more space for your hand and they are smaller. So always start with the smallest components that you have on the PCB that way it will be way easier to solder everything. All of the SMD components are in place, that really wasn't hard to do, you may just face some problems with Atmega 328 because that's really not simple to solder, especially for beginners. And here is a quick tip, usually while I'm soldering I have the PCB layout and PCB schematic on my computer so that I can check the component placement and component values just to make sure that everything is soldered properly. And now it's time for THT components. quick break for a sponsor message. Sponsor of this video is JLCPCB.com. They manufactured my PCB design for this project, they can also manufacture your PCBs. You just need to upload your Gerber files to their website, choose your settings and you are ready to order your PCBs for as low as $2 for 5 PCBs with max dimensions of 10 by 10 cm. For any kind of prototyping this is just a perfect solution. Visit JLCPCB.com to learn more, link is in the description. PCB turned out really nice and those colorful headers really add something to it, the matte black color is just 
perfect, really the best PCB that I've ever made. Now we'll see if everything works fine, I already uploaded a very simple code to this microcontroller and because there is no USB port you can't program this just like any other Arduino. You have to use the USB ISP programmer with this kind of connector. The header right here is exactly the same as on Arduino Uno, so you can just simply plug this in place like this, then connect your USB ISP to the computer. And as you can see everything works fine. Now I need to develop the program that will take care of the motor, encoder and will make it easy to control this via external Arduino board. For example with I2C or serial port. I'm not sure what I will use as for now. I want this to be an external driver so that I will burn the code just once here and then I will tell what to do to this board, to this driver via another Arduino board. Just like another motor driver. Firmware for the driver is ready. Basically I used the same code from the previous video. I modified it a little bit, I implemented the I2C communication and right now you can also control the speed of the motor in RPMs which is very useful in robotics. So now let me show you how I connect all of that right here. Here is my encoder motor in 3D printed mount. I powered this thing from my lab bench power supply. Here is the power connector, here is the connector for the encoder, there is GND pin. 3.3 volt pin and 2 pins for the encoder, some additional pins from the microcontroller, 5 volt pins, 3.3 volt pins, GND pins, uh, there is also I2C connector and serial connector and two connectors for the motors. You can obviously use just one encoded motor with this driver uh, because of limitations of this microcontroller but you can easily use two standard DC motors with this driver and develop your whole robotic project just with this board without any external Arduino. This Arduino will actually control this driver in my case and here it is connected through the I2C to this. To control it over I2C I use wire library, it's very simple to use. For example, if you want to move your motor right 1000 steps, you just simply send the R1000 command and that's it. To move it left 1000 step, you can send L1000 and to set the certain speed of rotation, you can send S because of speed for example 120 which means 120 revolutions per minute. I'm not going to explain you how the wire library work and how I2C work because that's kind of complicated and there's plenty of information on the internet and a lot of great videos that explain this pretty well so if you want more info just google it and now let me show you a quick demo of how my driver work. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this project, I really enjoyed making this PCB, that's probably the best PCB that I've ever designed, it looks so so cool, the matte black is perfect finish for I think any PCB and the colorful headers really add something to this project, it works without any problems which is also quite surprising. If you would like to check out this PCB design and the code that I use, there is a link to GitHub in the description. If you would like to buy one of these PCBs, you can do that on Tindy. If you would like to support my work, you can do this on Patreon. All the links are in the description. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Keep making. Bye.